Christmas cards arrive. In the past, some of the balloons have made it as far away as New Hampshire. For nearly half a century, the name Gifford has meant ice cream to thousands of people in the Washington area. But now that delicious era may be coming to a close. New 7's John Harder has the story. Okay, who had peppermint stick? Right here. Calvert Headley is single-handedly running the Bailey's Crossroads Giffords, selling the last of the company's ice cream. I'm here mainly so I can get enough money to pay the employees. Mr. Gifford left me holding a large payroll. When do you run out of ice cream? Uh. Well, I was hoping it would last for 10 days, but with all this publicity, it may be five days. Some 30 Giffords employees are out of a job, having been paid for three weeks' work. Last week, the sheriff closed Giffords Ice Cream Plant and Store here in Silver Spring after a bankruptcy judge ordered the company liquidated. That was because attempts to make the financially troubled firm viable had failed. 47-year-old Robert Gifford, who inherited the ice cream stores when his father died in 1976, suddenly disappeared three weeks ago. A longtime employee explains why. I think it was the pressure. He had so much pressure, he just couldn't handle it. A new breed of smaller, more efficient ice cream stores like Baskin Robbins, Bob's, and Hagen dazs began cropping up 10 years ago. Giffords did not keep up. Now, when I was a kid, there weren't nearly so many choices. It was pretty much Giffords, Highs, Seal Test, but Giffords was it. Uh, my first choice was Swiss chocolate. But they didn't have any. So that would have been my fudge. first choice, too. So I'm having hot fudge. <laughs> How about you? Same thing. I was going to have a Swiss chocolate, but I had to set up for hot fudge instead. What are you going to do when they when they go out of business finally here? Do without. Miss it? Lose some white. <laughs> but all may not be lost for Gifford ice cream lovers, because there's a man here in Vienna, Virginia, who hopes to continue the tradition. Carlos Garzella bought this Gifford store last year. His supply of Gifford's ice cream disappeared, so he's serving Hershey's now, but he's planning a revival for the real stuff. Perhaps smaller stores, more efficient production, perhaps at the store levels, but the formulas are available. They probably would be available at the price, and I want to try to get them. So fellow Gifford's lovers, cross your fingers. You like ice cream, Renee? My hips like ice cream a lot. <laughs> yes. But I try and tell the rest of my body that I don't. But I love ice cream. I just love it. <laughs> Thank you, John. When we come back, Jim Ramsey will bring us up to date on what's ahead.